We now return to snide idiots who think they know what they're talking about, but that's only because, as previously mentioned, they're idiots. Some git writes, Hilarious the one of your two examples of what unions have done for us with superannuation. Four savings funneled into funds run by big banks and corporations, question mark? LOL. You should stick to comedy, mate. Your politics are all fucked up and highly misinformed. Says the dickhead who includes no facts or sources, just chooses that classic dumbass option of bashing his cracked leather couch hands on a keyboard yelling. Hey, it's any sense, it's, I don't know, I can barely read anyway, see? This guy has a bone to pick. See, dunderheads like yourself are exactly the reason why forced savings are a good thing, because if it wasn't for unions stopping man children like you from taking all of their cookies out of their cookie jar and spending it on some frivolous shit like, I did it. I spent an entire month's salary on making a sweet chili filly ye blue. If only Mum still spoke to me, I could tell her about it. Oh well, seeing as nobody does speak to me, I'll just have sex with it. <gasps> you think unions, again, unions are in a secret room cabal with their mortal enemy big banks to get your superannuation. Mate, yeah. Even though the unions have their own superannuation plans. Mate, that made me repeat myself, all right? <laughs> yeah. Well, sweetheart, don't know how to make this clear to someone as buffoonish as you, but they're not. It was actually John Howard who, I've got no idea how you got those two mixed up, as they're the exact polar opposite of one another, as unions neither hate workers, nor are they a potato that tragically learn to talk. The most challenging part was convincing someone to cut me a mouth. It was Howard that introduced legislation that virtually forced you to go with your employer's super account, who almost always went with his bank to save money on his own banking fees. But guess what happened as soon as Labor, in cahoots with the unions, regained office? Ah, uh, race hermit crabs? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I'd do that if I just won a federal election. Go, Sandy, go! <laughs> What a lark! But then they repealed Howard's law that forced millions of Australian superannuation into the greedy hands of big banks, making your claim that unions somehow are in cahoots with big banks to take away your superannuation so utterly moronic that it really is only fair you're probably getting ripped off hundreds of thousands of dollars, you human dodo. Because by every single measure, from the fees to the returns you receive when you retire, union ran super funds absolutely slaughter big bank ran super funds that the unions and labour alone have fought every single step of the way from ever getting anywhere near your superannuation. Yet judging by your comment, you probably vote for the Liberal Party, even though they've done absolutely nothing but try and get that super straight back into the hands of the big banks you purport to hate, and you call my politics all fucked up and highly misinformed. I made a sweet chilli filly igloo and fucked it. Please press the subscribe button now. Come on.